now I'm gonna list two things that in my country screams winter and the moment winter is here these things become so common everywhere people love to consume this it's peanuts and oranges winter comes and the peanut stalls the people roasting peanuts and corn and chickpeas and all the other dried fruits and dried nuts it becomes so common everyone loves to consume that also people eat so much peanuts here you will see like bowls and bowls of peanuts being finished in one sitting it's crazy same with oranges suddenly people are crazy about oranges also isn't it a great contrast a bright warm orange color against the dark blue winter <laughs> to be honest i personally do not like citrus fruits especially oranges i know i know it's an underrated opinion but i just don't understand why people are so crazy about oranges i mean vitamin c is good for you that i know but i i cannot deal with orange i cannot eat an orange let me walk you through how a winter evening or a winter night looks here so everyone is gathered in one room maybe the lounge and the heater is on people are sitting on the sofas or on a carpet in blankets and there are bowls of peanuts sitting around them and oranges and we're eating and engaged in a lovely conversation and then when everyone is done with their oranges and peanuts and lovely talk someone has to get up and make chai for everyone and then i don't know maybe one or two people get up and they go and make chai or coffee or a green tea and then we bring all the cups and mugs in a tray serving around the whole room and it's just cozy and warm and such a happy time i was thinking why are all my memories of winter just loaded with so many family gatherings and not just my own family like extended family and friends and just so many people and gatherings and i was so dumb because the answer is winter here is the wedding season as i told you summers are harsh so nobody wants to get married during the summer time and winters are easy to deal with i mean you don't have to pay any air conditioning bill that alone is enough so there are so many weddings always happening in winter times that is why that is why all my memories are like so many people and gatherings because when there is a wedding people come like family comes and stays at your house or you go somewhere we go to the village a lot during the winter times i know some people don't have a home in a countryside or a village but alhamdulillah i do and it's such a blessing because winter vibes in a village are so different and so much more amazing first the sky in a village is the most beautiful thing ever it's straight out of a painting or imagination basically because the sky is filled with so many stars if you have never been to a countryside or you haven't seen a sky like that i don't know how else to explain to you just think that every corner of the sky every piece of sky is shining with a star it's like someone took a bottle of glitter and sprinkled it all over the sky and i've seen so many shooting stars when i'm up on the rooftop in my village because to be honest where, wherever i am i am always on a lookout for a rooftop and i always escape there so in my village when i go to the rooftop and i sit under the night sky i have seen so many shooting stars it's wonderful it's so amazing winters in villages are also a lot more cold because there is farmland around so i don't know because there's like a lot of open air space so it's 
the winds are harsh and cold and that is why we bundle up in blankets and quilts i personally prefer quilts over blankets but both are equally warm and cozy and just so fun because whenever i go to the village it's, it's always due to some kind of event that is happening and all my cousins are there and it's quite fun to have that kind of a break after some time and just meet with family and just warm feelings you know another magical thing about winter is the fog i love the fog i know i know it's dangerous for driving but your girl can like it okay because again it's so surreal the level of fog we get here sometimes the vision level is goes down to zero and it's unfathomable that there's this mist around you and you cannot see also it comes for a really short time that is why maybe it's more unreal to me and i find it more fascinating but it would be like so weird i would go out in the terrace and i would look down like just one floor down there should be the gate of my house but i cannot see it because everything is shielded i cannot see right in front of me everything is clouded with a thick fog and it's and it's magical <laughs> also tell me there are two different kinds of people two major groups of people one who can smell the fog and one who cannot smell the fog well i can smell the fog and it's one of my favorite smells in the world and i also associate that smell with like winter and it's just so amazing it feels amazing and i know there are people who cannot smell the fog and i don't know maybe they just don't realize it they and they're like looking for a very fragrant smell maybe because i ask people can you smell the fog and when some of them tell me that no what are you talking about what smell of fog and i'm just like what are you saying you cannot smell the fog you don't know the smell of fog and honestly i feel bad for these people because this because the smell of fog is wonderful it's the best it's one of the most refreshing and wonderful smells in the world and i just can't understand how people cannot smell it because when i go out in a foggy environment and i come back inside i can smell it even on my clothes which i love by the way i would love if there would be like a scented candle or maybe a fragrant a body spray or something that can give me a gist of that smell that the fog has because it's honestly amazing and i love it so do let me know what kind of person are you can you smell the fog can you not and if you cannot please try i i don't know please try now another thing that becomes a bit more bearable for me in winter is cooking i enjoy cooking a lot more in winter than at any other time i i don't really you can i don't really like cooking but it's a lot more enjoyable in winter times and i'm always more down to cook something when it's winter i'm down to trying new recipes and baking feels amazing in winter i'm sure you all can relate baking cookies baking cakes and making pasta or then again like i said soup in my house i am the one who always makes the soup and to be honest i enjoy it i don't mind cooking when it's winter also i feel like my appetite is a lot better during the winter time than in summer because in summer my appetite is dead i don't want to eat anything during the summer but in winter it's fine i do want to eat food let me know what are some things that you guys like to cook in winter that i know in a lot of households here 
during the winter time they're like these dishes that take a lot of cooking time like sweet dishes uh halwa saag which is mustard and palak which is spinach i love cooked spinach and in winter i get to have it more and i also like saag the mustard cooked mustard we make corn flour roti with the saag the mustard and we glaze it with fresh butter and we put butter in the saag as well and it's amazing again i my mouth is watering even talking about it and there are like a lot of halwas that are also made during the winter time and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of people as well i feel like to leave one person alone making a halwa or saag is is to be honest cruel help your mothers and help people who are cooking now i know that another thing that is associated with the cold days is sadness grief depression when i was a kid i used to never understand why so many authors and poets wrote such sad pieces of literature regarding the winter days and especially december but i think now i understand why that is when the days are a lot shorter there's no light you kind of also lose the light and warmth from life as well especially if you're not a fan of winter and cold then it does feel sad and depressed thing but i just remember specifically reading about sad december poems and just be like why are these poets so sad why are these writers so sad in winter and it felt like almost that those pieces were romanticizing sadness in winter which now i have come to understand a lot of them were not doing that but many of the new poets and just random people on the internet were kind of doing that yes and recently i felt like some people especially maybe teenagers i don't know i can be wrong but i feel like that it has been made a trend to be depressed and to have anxiety and i don't think that that's a good thing also just regarding depression and sadness as something as something that is like trendy now i know that depression anxiety and mental health problems are very common and we're just now starting to realize that it's not a taboo to talk about mental health and it's not bad to talk about your struggles but you do feel like sometimes it's been used to maybe portray a very wrong image of what it actually feels like anyone who has experienced grief and depression in real life knows that these are very sensitive topics that we need to deal with a lot of sympathy and sensitivity but on the internet it feels like people have almost romanticized the feeling of being sad and depressed which which i don't think is cool which which shouldn't happen and we should always be kind and helping towards people we think are going through grief or just depression or any other mental health problem and we should not make these things as something that can be good and cool 